How's it going? This is uh, Matt from Squeaky Clean. As you can see, it's kind of starting to get a little bit colder here in Canada. The EK is uh, in winter mode, so I just got it oil proofed. I'm gonna start doing some uh, vlogs, hopefully on the regular, of just uh, what kind of I'm up to and stuff like that, like with the aero, uh, with the air suspension, with installations. Uh, with working on people's cars, just get get a little bit of, a, of an insight and a glimpse of uh, what Squeaky Clean is all about. Uh, hopefully in the summer of 2020 we're going to start focusing on uh, our merchandise and booths and do some booths, not booths, but booths. And we're going to start doing some uh, meets and events. What's up? How's it going? It's me. So as you can see the leaves are already down on the ground. It's kind of crappy. The uh, daily EK is uh, in winter mode and we're going to be working on the GS today so on its kind of last leg before I store it I decided to store it at uh, Menace Rides uh, for this year because he's going to be doing some work uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar but this is uh, my pride and joy basically I um, it's a wide-bodied uh, Lexus GS uh, 350 and uh, it's a Lexon exclusive kit uh, by Rocket Bunny um, and uh, Pride and Joy you know I cut the car up myself I did all the mods myself I did all the aero I installed the kit myself uh, recently probably in the beginning of the summer I bought a welder which is what's what's here right here and uh, I kind of taught myself slowly how to weld enough to do pretty decent tack welds and understand the whole principle behind uh, you know fusing to uh, pieces of metal and stuff like that and various so anyways so I uh, welded up my rear quarters and I was able to install the over fenders the over fenders were uh, wrapped by uh, uh, my buddy uh, Justin from uh, Menace Rides and uh, stay tuned for more uh, there's gonna be a lot more happening to this car we're probably gonna rewrap it or we're gonna keep it white and just come up with a library um, but uh, yeah it's my pride and joy more details on this as we go along. I'll probably be uh, whoring out my car like there's no tomorrow. Um, but today what we're going to do is we're going to be installing some uh, additional stuff uh, to the front of my front splitter. And uh, stay tuned for that as I get ready. Basically, we're going to be installing these splats. They're nice carbon fiber splats. Uh, they're going to be going on the side of my splitter over here. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys how I'm going to be going about doing it. This is going to add a little bit of a nicer dimension to my front end. It's going to make it a little bit more aggressive, as well as these things are quite beautiful. I actually got them uh, from Too Fast Motors, and uh, they're real carbon fiber. They're going to be able to match my uh, carbon fiber uh, side mirrors. So these are going to be a fun little project we're going to install uh, today. So basically, we're going to jack up the car. I'm just going to uh, screw these in with self tappers after I. Uh, put them in with self tappers because the gold holes are going to be there I'm going to put a nut and bolt through my splitter uh, just to make it uh, a lot more safer but uh, uh, these are definitely going to add a nice little touch and a nice little dimension to the to the whole overall look of the car as well as going to widen the front front end so uh, here we go um, let me jack up the car and we'll get right at it So basically nothing super complicated. These things are gonna go, I'm gonna protrude from the south side of my splitter, kind of like that, to give it a nice little dimension and a nice kind of an extension for the front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some clamps to clamp it up so I don't have to hold it. Let's do that now. Basically any kind of clamping makes your life a lot easier. As you can see over here, we clamped it up. Um, this allows you to reposition it um, and uh, kind of play with it before you uh, before you do any kind of drilling. As you can see, it kind of makes the front splitter a little bit more aggressive, and it adds like a nice little carbon fiber touch to it. I don't know if I want to do a full carbon fiber splitter. Maybe eventually I'm going to do. I'm going to overlay it or maybe carbon wrap it, I haven't decided it. You know, some of the three dimensional carbon wrap that they have available is uh, so good, like you can't even tell. So 
it will match really nicely or even hydro dipping this stuff is pretty cool hydro dip has gone a long way so pretty much i think it's straight straight on i mean you try to do as best as possible you don't you don't want i personally don't want my cars to be super copacetic or like perfectly uh clinical because um you know you want to have a little bit of, of of your feel to it you want it to be a little bit rough I like my cars a little bit rough. I hate those super polished vehicles because most of the time they're trailer and they're not really driven. I like to drive my shit, so as you can see, there's uh, you know, there's rock chips and shit like that because this car is actually driven. Even though it's my pride and joy and it's only driven in the summer, I try to get out to a lot of events uh, in between working with uh, air suspension or, um, or aero and stuff like that. So this looks pretty good. Uh, essentially, this is the whole idea behind it. So I'm gonna see how I can mount it from the bottom and uh, put some uh, self tappers through it and then I'll uh, secure it with uh, nuts and bolts. Pretty simple. <laughs> what I like to do is I like to use long self tappers and uh, by using a self tapper, you're kind of pretty much drilling and creating in the hole so you don't have to use a drill and vice versa. So kind of has a dual purpose where if you use a self tapper to kind of attach a piece, you know, it um, attaches it and also creates a nice little hole um, that you can put a uh, bolt through. Obviously, I'm gonna have to use some stainless steel uh, bolts for this, so it doesn't rust or it doesn't get exposed to uh, the elements like water and stuff like that. You don't want your arrow pieces to to look, uh, you know, uh, reacted to uh, to the uh, elements, so it doesn't look as good. For my uh, canards, as you can see over here. I use uh, stainless steel hardware, so it, uh, it never discolors, stuff like that. Same with uh, the mounts, or the bolts that I used for the uh, Rocket Bunny mount. Um, but it adds a really, really cool dimension. So obviously these are gonna be replaced with uh, with nuts and bolts that are uh, stainless. I'm gonna have to order some on Amazon, or uh, go to Home Depot and uh, pick those up. Put one through here, one through here. Um, they're selfed up on the bottom here as well as you can see, but uh, those of course also will be replaced. So uh, stay tuned. Um, I should get this done and I'll post another video log on how the final product looks like. So uh, all the best.